Hi guys, welcome back. So today's video is going to be kind of a favourites coats and jackets collection and also my top five style coats to look out for for the autumn winter season. It's freezing outside, it's so cold. I've been grabbing some of my old jackets and also picking up some new ones as well and I have my eye on so many. So today I just wanted to sit down and talk about my old jackets that I've been bringing back out, new ones that I worn and just styles to look out for. So yeah, let's just get straight into it. I'm going to start with a classic which is the parka jacket. Now I remember having these back in the day, I had the khaki ones and I think the khaki parka jacket was the jacket to have. Parka jackets are usually just slouchy, just throw on, a pair of jeans, trainers and you're good to go. Just an easy run around jacket so that is why I loved it back in the day. I wanted to get a parka jacket that looked more structured and more put together so I picked up this one from Vero Moda. I think it was about 40, 50 pounds and I absolutely love it. I really love the fit of it and the style of it. And like I said, the usual khaki parkas are just slouchy and this one is more fitted, it's more sturdy and it just has more life and structure to it. These some pictures pop up on the side anyway of styles that I'm really, really loving as well. Or that's kind of like on my wish list and things. So, and um, there's army ones, there's all like different color ones with all these crazy color furs around the hood. Um, there's long ones, short ones, and I'm just loving parker jackets. It's just a classic jacket. Another one is faux fur. Of course, there's so many colours now. You can get them in pink, red, green, yellow, literally all the colours under the sun. You can get it in a faux fur jacket. I'm not really an out there kind of person with colour, so I've just got your standards, greys and blacks and I'll keep it like that. But I've seen a beautiful emerald green one from New Look that looks amazing. So um, yeah, I think I might kind of delve in and get one coloured faux fur jacket just to, you know, be a little bit out there. And I've got one, a really classic one from Topshop that I've had for ages and it's the ombre, like the grey to black one that was from Topshop. They had it in Topshop, they have it in H&M, they had it in a few places and that I remember everyone had that jacket. I'll definitely be bringing that one out this year again. It's just so funny when you see everyone bring out them jackets when it gets really cold. Another style that I've just recently got into is statement jackets and like I said I'm not out there with my style and with colours so this is a little bit pushing the boat for me but I really 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 like this. So I got this one from New Look and it's a leopard print jacket coat I guess a long line jacket. Um, it's not that thick so it's not going to keep me that warm and I, to be fair I can probably fit um, a thin jumper underneath which is fine for the weather now and I guess when it gets colder I just wrap some scarves around me. It's easy if you don't want to make an effort with your outfit so for me I probably wear it and I think you would have already seen that video now um, in an all black outfit with just a statement jacket just to have the jacket do all the talking for me. Just find the style and the colour that suits you and you'll be good to go with a statement. So with me, I'm more toned down, so that's why I went with the brown and the blacks, like the leopard print. But there's so many different um, prints that you can get and different statements as well. It doesn't have to be an animal print. Puffer jackets is probably the, the newest trend or the newest style that's come out and it is everywhere. It's so huge. I've got two at the minute. I've got the metallic green one from Topshop and also the velvet blue one from New Look that you would have seen recently in a haul and I love them. I cannot stress enough how much everyone needs to have a puffer jacket. I didn't ever think puffer jackets would suit me just because they're more of the tomboy type look but you can definitely pull it off if you're not a tomboy. It just depends how you style it and it depends on the style that you get. There's so many different ones around so for me I like to have the short oversized ones because I like to wear it with skinny jeans and boot heels and then it gives you the kind of girl tomboy type of vibe so with the skinny jeans obviously that's the girly side of it and then you have the oversized puffer which is the edgy tomboy so the mix really does work well. Just try things that you want to really try but you're scared to and you'd be surprised that it would look so good on you. Another one that's made a little comeback is the Aviator Sherling style jacket. I don't know how to say that I have a name for it. Borg? 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 
I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce that. So um, yeah, I'll just stick with Sherlin um, jacket. Just so warm, they're so cozy with the little fur lining inside it. I have an all black one that I got in the cell years ago, about three years ago. Um, and it's just a classic, comes back and comes out every single year for me. So I'm loving that it's come back because I was trying to sell it on my Depop and I'm so glad no one bought it. So I've got that one, I've got a long line one that's kind of brown with cream lining, but you'll see all of these jackets on anyway, because this is kind of like, I guess, a coat collection and plus talking through some of the styles that I'm loving as well. So those are my top five styles to look out for. And of course, a little bit of a coat collection as well. I hope you did enjoy this style video and it gave you some ideas of styles to look out for the autumn winter season. I hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Make sure you're subscribed and follow me on my social media accounts. That's Instagram, Snapchat and Twitter and I will catch you on my next one.